Hey delicious peeps, this is your buddy JC And I'm Marie And welcome to Delicious, delicious Reacts. Reacts And if you're new in the channel, we'll be creating a lot of fun stuff Good vibes vlogs and some tech stuff as well and some covers So if you haven't subscribed yet, consider hitting the subscribe button now and activating the bell So you will be instantly updated with our delicious contents And in today's video, we're gonna be reacting to this video of this channel called Our Half Asian Adventure And previously, we reacted to some Filipino accent related contents And you can see them here if you haven't seen them yet and you're gonna be having fun watching them I'm sure because we did so this video is entitled Filipino English accent and American English differences so these are some of terminologies I would say terminology comparison or accent maybe and let's crack on video today we wanted to finally sit down and make a video that we've been wanting to do for a while and that is American English versus Filipino English so for if you guys are new to this channel we have been married for nine years now this wow. year so I'm nine from years. the Philippines she's from she's from America <laughs> <laughs> and John grew up in the Philippines till he was 17 years old and now you've lived here for 15 Years. And Laura uh, grew up in uh, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, Wyoming. And today we want to make fun of the way we talk. Sure. Since John's been in America so long, he's definitely learned the way, the right way to say things, and I definitely correct him sometimes. But for this video, he's going to revert back to the first year you were in America. How did you say these things? So we're going to go through, and I'm going to say some words, and he's going to say how he would say it or pronounce it differently. So. And this is gonna be hard because, you know, I've lost my accent and stuff, you know. Oh my god! Really? <laughs> Alright, first word, flip-flops. Slippers. <laughs> yeah, slippers. What can you say? Slippers. I think flip-flops only got <laughs> popular when Havaianas got popular as well, like yeah. 10 years ago maybe. And then there's this store called Flip-Flops and they sell Havaianas slippers or flip-flops and uh, Ipanema. Ipanema. Yeah, we call it slippers in the Philippines. What do you call slippers? Slippers. Oh, okay. So what they call slippers are the ones you wear inside, inside the house or inside the bedroom. So it's different with what you're wearing outside because most commonly in these Western countries, they wear, they wear flip-flops when they go to the beach. I guess you call it thongs. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. No, we don't. No, I'm talking about slippers. Yeah, slippers. We call it slippers. Well, we don't have slippers. Slippers. You don't have fluffy soft house slippers? No, we don't have fluffy soft house slippers. <laughs> because, because it's hot in the Philippines. Because it's Fridge. warm in the Philippines. Fridge. 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 What do they call it? Fridge. Right? Fridge. And the, the American call it fridge. And we call it ref refrigerator. R not rep. <laughs> See you later. I'll go ahead. <laughs> go there. Go here. Come here. Go here. How are you? I'm go good. Here. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? <laughs> I'm good. They're cute in fairness. Uh, in fairness to them, they are they are actually a cute couple. And the previous conversation they just had is a bit technical when it comes to a uh, grammar. What do you call Subject this? verb agreement. Yeah, subject verb agreement, but Sometimes it doesn't matter in Filipino English accent or the English Filipino English language. It doesn't matter because you always when you talk it's always accompanied with some actions. Go here. Instead of come here, go here. Even if the person said go, it's understood because you're saying towards me, go here. <laughs> but mean but go means like away and come means towards, towards the you. person talking. What would you call a blackout? Brownout. Why? <laughs> Can you explain why brownout? I don't know. There's no. Uh, <laughs> because we're brown. <laughs> Because for brown people, and they call it blackout. Call it blackout because it's completely black, <laughs> but brown because you can still see people and they are brown. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. We're brown. <laughs> oh, see. 
See, I get that because we're brown. Tennis shoes. Uh, rubber shoes. Tennis shoes. Tennis that shoes. Caused some disagreements in our marriage. Rubber, rubber shoes, shoes, right? All form of shoes. Rubber shoes. Yeah, if it's not in the Philippines, there's only like two classifications or category of shoes. It's either it's leather shoes or rubber shoes, and boots a different department as well. So if it's not made of leather, it's automatically rubber shoes. Here in the UK, they call it sneakers right or trainers because they wear this sort of shoes when they go to the gym to do some sort of training workouts they call it trainers or sneakers trainers most commonly not rubber shoes even in europe i believe bathroom cr comfort room <laughs> Bathroom, you're there to take a bath, right? Yeah, and comfort room is to be comfortable. <laughs> they also call it powder room, right? We call it powder room in the Philippines. Take out, take home, take home. That's funny. Take out, take, take home. out, take away, isn't it? Take Can out. I, yeah, take in the out, but take out, not take home. <laughs> he said take home. Mm -hmm. I think that's not accurate. Yeah, take home. That's odd. <laughs> Can I have take home food? <laughs> Pen. Ballpen. Yes. Pen or ballpen. Ballpen yeah. because there's a ball in the tip, at the tip of the pen. You but know that? When it's gone. Huh? <laughs> because the old style of pen is like there's no ball. It's not like a hole because the pen we're commonly using now is like a hole, and then there's a ball at the tip. And if you press the ball, the ink will come out as you write. But in the early age, the pen is like like an open, an open thing, and then like a funnel thing, and then the ink will flow at the tip. Something like that. McDonald's. Go. Loaf of bread. Tasty. Do you want to explain why? Yeah. <laughs> I think that one's When it's like holiday in the Philippines, they said, oh, buy tasty. It's, it has something to do with branding because back then the most common brand of loaf is called tasty. Yeah, I don't really know why. It's just, you know, we go to uh, we go to the bakery and stuff and we say, hey, can we get a tasty bread? That's it's it. It's kind of like Wonder Bread. Tasty bread? Okay. Really tasty. Once John's mom um, told me to grab the tasty and I didn't know what she's talking about. That's how I learned that one. Toothpaste. Colgate. <laughs> Colgate is a brand. That's explanation. Yeah, it's, it has something to do with branding as well. Can you buy me Colgate? Can you buy me Nescafe? I guess it's a common joke or a lot of times your parents will ask you, Hey, can you buy Colgate at the store? You know, the close-up, the red one. <laughs> close-up is credit. Oh, it still exists. Washcloth. Face towel. What if you use it on your bum? Bum towel. <laughs> well, you're not going to call it butt towel. It's hot in here. Turn on the AC. Turn on the aircon. Yeah, Bunk AC, aircon. Where are you from? Where do you live? Turn on the light. Open the light. Turn off the light. Close the light. Explanation. <laughs> well, that one is funny. Funny. <laughs> Open and close the light. <laughs> yeah, turn on, turn off is of course the appropriate yeah. way of saying them. But open, you're not gonna technically open it. Not literally open it, but yeah. I think the reason why Filipinos do this is because the direct translation is, you know, buksan ng ilaw, which is open the light. And then, but I don't know why the turn off the light is close the light because the direct translation is kill the light. Oh, that's interesting. Open the light has definitely rubbed off on me and my son so far. <laughs> we definitely use that one. Close the light, open the light. Pull up a you chair. Used to it. Pull a chair. <laughs> Sitting down. <laughs> Extraordinary. Super duper. Margarine. Margarine. <laughs> Margarine. Biscuit. Cracker. Biscuit. 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 <laughs> Biscuit. Because I'm, 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 I'm like biscuit. fixated with him. Biscuit. Biscuit. In Tagalog, biscuit. You know, like, rebisco. 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 Sco. Kindergarten. Kindergarten. First grade. First grade. Did, you, did you hear that? Kindergarten. Garden. Garden. But in the Philippines. It's kindergarten. Garden. A lot of people say garden. No. Yeah. Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Yes, for us. <laughs> but some moms, they will say kindergarten. Really? Yeah. It's like a garden <laughs> behind the kinder room. <laughs> Great what? Second grade. <laughs> grade two. <laughs> grade two. Third grade. He said grade, grade two. Three, fourth grade. Grade four. Fifth grade. Grade five. Grade six, grade. First year high school? They don't have it. When you're 12. 
Can you please tell me what high school when you're 12? No, sir. Up, uh, back. <laughs> We're superior. <laughs> what? Yes. I thought you went to high school when you're 12. You're 16. No. That's when you graduate. No. <laughs> yeah, first year, second year, fourth year, third year, fourth year. <laughs> and then college. Because I think um, they go up to 12 years of grade. Grade 12? Grade 12. I don't know if that's right. And then they have, a ju they have senior, junior high school, which is two years. And then senior, senior high, high school, school, which is another two years. I think based on the cartoon that I watched when I was younger, like five years ago when I was 20. Okay, so if you guys like this oh, video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your Filipino friends. That's it guys, thank you so much and kudos to this lovely love team, this couple. Nine years of marriage, quite amazing, quite inspiring. More power to their channel, Our Half Asian Adventure. We're gonna put the link in the description below of the original video. And so, if you like this one, give this a thumbs up. And if you want more, subscribe now. And activate the bell button so you will be updated with instant good vibes, delicious contents. Let us know in the comment section what you think about this and if you have any other ideas about funny Filipino accent or terminologies, drop them in the comment section. We'll read them. We'll take time to read them. Share this video if you want to share good vibes. And until next time, and of course, always share a smile. And spread the love. Because, because life is delicious. delicious. See, See you in the next one. one. Bye.